Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin as we're heading into a new trading week. 15 minutes to go to the daily and weekly candle close. But um, when, when I upload the video, it'll already be done and we will be in a new trading week at the moment. Well, there hasn't really been much volatility today. Just a little bit. We've seen a little bit of a pullback there. And this is obviously the really the shorter time frame. Honestly, not much happened here today. So the idea is obviously still that there are two wave counts that we're observing. Both are bullish. One, however, is short term bearish. But in both, I'd like to see further upside continuation in wave five after this wave four is completed. And the wave four is either already complete or we might get one more low to round about 57 to 56K to wrap this up in the white count. At the moment, I'm watching the yellow count because the price might have formed a five wave move to the upside with today's high. And we're going to zoom in in a minute. But um, if if a low has formed, okay, so if this ABC structure is already completed, A, B, C in wave four, if that's completed, then the next wave to the upside should take us to 90K plus. I showed you already in previous videos how to calculate the target for that. $90,000 for wave five of three, then we should still get a larger degree fourth wave and a fifth wave. And this is a valid assumption and reasonable as long as we're holding 50,725. That's the 50% retracement. Below that level, I can't really justify anymore to call this a wave four because wave fours shouldn't really break below the 50% FIB level. But at the moment, there is no clear setup to get there anyway. Okay, it's quite far away from the current price and there is no lower degree, let's say structure that would tell me that the price would get to that level. So from that point of view, I'm still watching for um, the price to either have bottomed already or one more low, but not necessarily to come down to 50.7K, even though it would be technically possible and valid and absolutely, you know, just possible in the current scenario. It's just that Obviously, you need a setup for it and the micro projections rather show here that if we get another low, we should finish this correction within the white target zone. Let's go to that shorter time frame count. I mean, it's not that, you know, more labels will make the chart clearer, but I have labeled for you here the five wave move to the upside just to tell us, OK, it's possible that Bitcoin with the latest push higher that formed today to around 65,680, that this was the completion of wave one in yellow. So first five wave sequence since the low that formed on Friday. That means Bitcoin might have completed over the weekend first small five wave move. And if it is complete, then the wave two pullback could be unfolding right now. And this wave two pullback should test the orange support region. So why is that so important? It's so important because the five wave move up is needed as first confirmation that a low has really been established. Now you could say, okay, we have five waves up. Can we confirm it? Well, it's unfortunately only the first confirmation. Um, what Bitcoin needs to do for me to confidently state that the correction is over, I need to see a corrective pullback into this support region that's defined between 60,888 and 63,317. The price needs to stabilize there, turn around, and then, yeah, ideally show a reaction and rally to the upside, ideally breaking above the wave one high. Then we have three levels of confirmation. And I mean, confirmation is no certainty, but it at least gives us uh, some confidence that the correction is over. Until then, probabilities are still very balanced, especially, and that's sort of something I should add really, this fifth wave of wave one. So this fifth wave of that five wave cycle was really very lackluster, very anemic, very short, and doesn't really give us a, yeah, a clear wave five there. And therefore, can I really believe it or not? I mean, that's a completely diff different question, but it doesn't give me an ideal structure there, but it is a possible five wave move up. And if we get a pullback, it's possible to reach next 63,000 317, which is the 38.2 retracement of this wave one. And um, obviously below 60,888, we have good confirmation that we get one more low. 
That's very important, I think, to note. This is uh, just a support region here that really should hold if this is a wave two. And this wave two pullback could be unfolding right now, possibly as an A, B, C structure. We'll see how it how it develops. Um, these corrections can take different shapes. It's also possible that a different, yeah, maybe, maybe something different, but it, it makes sense to consider that first move down as an A wave. It's just that because the move down was in three waves, yeah, it keeps the door open for higher. But so basically another extension higher. That's possible. Wave five can easily extend, give us one more high. But um, also the last rally now was also just in three waves. So the market isn't really, yeah, not, not really moving. It's very, very boring at the moment. But I think this should give you some parameters to watch should it give you some uh, some clarity as much as we can get at the moment from the chart and the levels should be clear the support levels that need to hold for upside trend continuation that should all be clear so i hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye